everyone. Welcome to the Pick Your Plan video series. Today, I'm going to be talking with Heather about the CSM program. So just for a quick introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Ola Sagal, and I've previously been in computing and financial management for the past two years. I've had a lot of good exposure to various computer science as well as accounting slash finance courses. Some of them include um, object oriented programming, data structures, all the way to corporate finance and financial accounting. I'm also currently working as a CFM mentor, where I mentor a small group of first year students to better transition into the CFM program. And I'm also currently on my co op term, where I'm interning as a data engineer. Now, turn around to Heather to introduce herself as well. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. My name is Heather Steinmetz. I am the Computing and Financial Management, or CFM, program manager. I work with students as an advisor to help them with their academics, uh, including choosing minors, learning about international exchange, planning out their classes, and supporting them all the way to graduation. Very happy to share with you some of the information about why CFM might be the right program for you. Awesome. So now I'm just going to start right off the bat, actually, with can you quickly describe what uh, computing and financial management is all about? Yeah, thanks, Alyssa. So computing financial management is a double major program. Our students study a full major of computer science as well as a full major of finance. The intention of our program is that students will combine these two disciplines so that they can work in the trillion dollar financial technology industry. It is a booming industry that requires computer science professionals that understand financial market knowledge. And this program will train you to be eligible for those types of positions. It is a very unique degree. We do have our students graduate and pursue a Bachelor of Computing and Financial Management program. It's also co-op only. So it is a great opportunity if these are the two disciplines that you are interested in pursuing. Awesome. Uh, my, my second question is actually, what do you wish students would know before choosing computing financial management as a major? Absolutely. So our program, despite being two majors, it does take 40 courses to complete, just like any other single major program. But of the 40 courses, there are 36 that are mandatory and only four that are optional to take. There are four that are called general electives. So this isn't necessarily a program that is designed for students that have a lot of flexibility in mind as far as the courses that they choose from. It is a program that is very much structured. So students at the end of their degree can work in financial technology or because it is a full major of computer science as well as a full major of finance, working strictly in technology or strictly in finance. So if you are interested in pursuing this program, please make sure that you are planning out your studies because this is going to require a lot of effort. And again, it is a co-op mandatory program. So coming in with a co-op background is necessary for a transfer and just being prepared that there's going to be five to six co-op opportunities to complete for graduation. Yeah, awesome. Um, so actually you mentioned FinTech. Um, what do you love about this like field and discipline? Like what's really exciting about this field? Absolutely. When this program was first designed, computer science was not as big as it is now. It's such a hot topic, a hot job that um, students are pursuing. Financial technology is obviously one particular stream of computer science, but it is growing just as much as the rest of any other technology industry. The difference is that banks and financial institutions are recognizing that they're needs to be a shift to technology to keep up with the expectations of clients, expectations of companies that want to move their money around quicker. And so what's really exciting is that this financial technology industry is seeking professionals that CFM can train and help them get into the workforce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, FinTech sounds like a really exciting but humongous industry. So what types of careers do you think can be pursued with this major? With computing financial management, you can pursue a strictly technology position. So if you wanted to work for companies like Microsoft, Google, Amazon, some other smaller startup technology companies, students can work as a developer or a programmer or an analyst, very typical positions. 
On the finance side, very similarly, they can work in strictly those types of industries and jobs. So working as investment bankers, as traders, client support specialists. Um, a lot of our students will go and work for banks like RBC, uh, Scotiabank, TD. We do have Goldman Sachs as one of our big employers, as well as Morgan Stanley and the Canadian Pension Plan. So students can absolutely work for those different types of positions that starts as early as co-op and then continues into full time. With financial technology though, we are looking for computer science professionals first who can work in a financial institution. So the, the jobs that I mentioned on the computer science side, those developers and analysts, those are the same jobs that our students and alumni will be working. It will just be in a financial related industry or a financial company. Uh, you would have to drill down into the job descriptions to know exactly what they're doing, but ultimately they're taking their technology information and job first, applying it to uh, the financial world. Uh, just one last question, because essentially CFM is combining two different majors into one, uh, one being CS and one being finance, how is computing and financial management different than like say CS or uh, farm? Wonderful. So computing and financial management, having the two majors, the computer science side is exactly the same as a student that is majoring in computer science as a single interest. The courses are exactly the same. The difference is that computing and financial management students do not need to take operating systems as well as computer organization. These are courses that they can take, but they're not mandatory for CFM like they would be for a student studying CS. Every other course, though, exactly the same. Maybe a few limitations on upper year electives to choose from, but they come very, very, very close. And so if you're comparing the two undergraduate calendars, you're going to see the similarities across the board there. On the finance side, if a student is only focusing on finance through computer and financial management, it's going to look pretty much the same as computing or as my apologies, the financial analysis and risk management program. The difference is just the nature of how those students complete and fulfill their finance requirements. The accounting and financial management courses are offered through our faculty of math and they're a little bit more business focused as well as less mathematical. Of course, they're still going to be math required, but compared to the financial analysis and risk management program, which is through our faculty of math, there's gonna be a lot more math focused types of finance classes. So instead of taking accounting and financial management courses, farm students would be taking things like applied math, statistics, combinatorics and optimization. And then they would also be supplementing their degree with other math courses that aren't specific to finance, but of course uh, lend to the problem solving that would fulfill a finance industry requirement for a job. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much for giving us like amazing responses to everything. I feel like I know so much more now about CFM. Thanks, Alyssa. The one thing that I do want to point out for students that are interested in computing and financial management is that we are not a major that you choose within honors math. We are a program that requires a transfer. If students would like to transfer into CFM, they do need to complete a first year of taking math and computer science courses, as well as either accounting and financial management courses, which is preferred, or economics. We do need a minimum of 80% for each of those classes, and they do need to send me an email at cfm.iewaterloo.ca for more information about that transfer. And take a look at our website, cfm.iewaterloo.ca, in order to find out all the details as well as the minimums that I've mentioned about the grade requirements to get in. Uh, thank you so much. That was very informative. Uh, and thank you everyone else for tuning in. We'll see you all on campus.